welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to do a video that I've never done before and that is showing you my top five foundations. To be honest, I don't know why I didn't make this a video before, but doesn't really matter. We're just going to do it today. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my top five and I'm going to start off with the foundations that are a little bit sheer to medium coverage. And then my last one will be full blown out full cover so um i already pre-recorded it i am going to show you how it is on my face and one thing that is very important i'm going to apply every single foundation using a beauty blender i'm not going to use a brush because there are so many brushes you can use and all brushes have different finishes so i just wanted to use something that i think most of the people use which is a beauty blender so yeah Without further ado, let's jump right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first foundation, of course, this is MAC Face and Body. This is one of my oldest favorites foundation. It is so pretty. On this side of my face, I am using a beauty blender to apply it. And what this does is it's going to give you like this sheer glowy finish so pretty on the skin it's just it is like skin but on the other side if you use your hands you can see that it will get a little bit thicker well i don't think you can see it but you can feel it with your hands it gets thicker and then you will get more coverage out of this foundation so that's why i absolutely love it it looks great on the skin um i don't think it really covers if you have uh like a pimple you want to cover or scars it's, it's not going to do that but if you're all about sheer to medium coverage this is a, your baby can you see a difference between the left side and the right side i hope so time to remove foundation number one and moving on to the next foundation this is actually a new one i've been using this for a few weeks right now and i'm actually going to show you two of the ordinary foundations the first one is the serum foundation which i absolutely love because it reminds me of the mac face and body foundation the only difference is that the serum foundation gives you a little bit more of a matte finish and the face and body gives you more of a glowy finish, more radiant, but doesn't matter. This is a perfect foundation if you want to have, let's say, medium coverage. But on the other side, I'm going to use the Ordinary Full Coverage Foundation. As you can tell, it is a little bit thicker, the consistency. It's still runny, but a little bit thicker, and obviously that's because it's going to give you more coverage and it's it's just beautiful i use the same shade i think it's 2y1 or something i don't know i will link every color and every foundation down in the uh, description box the thing to keep in mind is that both foundations have spf 50 in it Okay, time to spray some Smashbox primer because we are going to the next one. Ah, this is an oldie. This is a Makeup Forever HD foundation and I'm actually mixing two colors because one is too light and one is too dark. That is just my life because obviously I have a difficult color. I don't know what it is, but I have to mix it and you cannot go wrong with this foundation. It is impossible to go wrong. This foundation comes in 40 shades. It is a medium to full coverage. To me, it's actually full coverage foundation. It gives a semi-matte finish and it just takes such beautiful pictures. Amazing. This is like, you cannot go wrong, just like I said. And to be honest, that's actually all I can tell about this foundation. It's just perfect. Just look at that. I don't actually need concealer with this one. That's a good thing. By the way, why I'm looking this side is because my uh, laptop is here so I can see um, what I'm doing. So that's why I'm like, you know. Okay, two more to go. And I love this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. 
as you can tell this one is a finish but I do have one but I want to get everything out of it I am using uh, the shade caramel and sand more sand than caramel and oh this is actually what you need in a foundation what I need in a foundation let's put it that way because it is MAC face and body but then more coverage um, it gives you that glowy finish but it gives you coverage like that is amazing if I am going out and if I know that I have a long day I know this baby will not let me down um, <sighs> perfection oh, and a good thing about this one that it's oil free it comes in 24 shades uh, don't look at my lips it's ugly I hate foundation lips but the finish look at it oh, it is so good it is very very good I love it Yeah, and that's uh, my cotton pads and to be honest, my face didn't want to have foundation anymore, but last but not least, of course, how can I not include this baby into my video? The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation is everything. It is full coverage. It is not medium. It is not buildable. It is full coverage. Maybe it is buildable if you're gonna um, mix it with your moisturizer, but if you just use this foundation on its own, it is coverage. It is coverage, um, but on my face, it is not like a really, really matte finish, and that's what I like, because to be honest, I hate a matte finish when it comes to foundations. Um, I just want to have a little bit of a glow, but if I want to cover my life, this is the foundation I'm gonna get and I've been using this for what is it two or three weeks right now but one of my favorites and yeah guys that was it those were the five foundations that I love it is um, like two of them are pretty new the ordinary foundations and uh, the Huda Beauty Foam filter but the other ones I've been using for a couple of years right now and um, I ran out of it I bought a new one it is just so good but if there are any other foundations uh, that you guys think I should try besides the hourglass stick foundation because I want to try that out but I live in Europe and uh, they don't sell hourglass here in Europe well they do the the French Sephora site ships them to Holland but um, I don't know my shade so Besides that one, if you do know a very good foundation, please let me know because I love foundation. I am a foundation addict and yeah, that was actually it. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I think when it comes to foundation, a lot of people ask me what kind of shade I am when it comes to MAC terms. In face and body, I am in C5 and during summer, I am C6 or NC40, NC42. But I gotta tell you, like if I use NC40 or NC42, I have to mix those babies because it's a bit too yellow on my uh, face, even though I have a yellow undertone, but it is a bit too yellow. So if you're around NC40, NC42, then maybe the colors I've been using is also good for you, but go to your Sephora or your Mac store and just ask for a sample. That's the best thing you can do or let them apply it for you so yeah guys um thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this then please let me know in the description box and did i forget something oh yeah i forgot something every time you see me spraying in between foundations it's the smashbox primer water or a face plus because my skin just needed to get a little bit of hydration and um this is the result because I had to remove it. Look how disgusting this looks. And I used my Oli Nivea um, eye remover to remove my foundation. Yes, that's what I always do, and it always works. Do I need to tell more? Maybe you're like, shut up, you talk too much. I know I'm aware of that, but still. Um, no, one thing I want to get in the shower. I want to remove my makeup because let me tell you something it's not a good feeling to apply foundation take it off apply take it off apply take it off your face doesn't like that so i am going to remove it and edit the video and it will be up tonight
Thank you again for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.